I'm a creative artist that uses multimedia, traditional, and street art as my medium, as my canvas. I create stickers, I create installations, I create paintings, I create anything that helps me get my idea to the public out into the open space. My name is Brian Snyder. I'm a multimedia artist, a traditional artist, and a street artist. All right. Ready. This is Samuel. He was a local homeless man that uh, lived in Carlsbad and he ended up passing away. But every time you saw him, you say, hey, how's it going? He'd be like, same old. Just be riding on his bike, cruising the beach. This one is called Doodle Dunst. It's based off the same character that I named Doodle. And uh, the whole idea behind him is he's, he's an innocent kid, but he's also mischievous. So he does things that potentially get him in trouble, but it's always out of a good will. And there's always a positive message behind it. So in this situation here, he was caught doing something. He was put in a, a dunce corner, or in the corner of the dunce hat on. And uh, there's a hole in the wall as if he kicked the hole in the wall out of anger or boredom or whatever. So that's Doodle Dunce, and that's the one that we'll be painting this weekend. begin the creative process of creating a stencil or cutting a stencil, it, everything starts with an, an initial sketch. I hand trace that image with a pencil or a marker, uh, trace the whole image, and uh, once that image is traced onto the paper, take it down to uh, a cutting board. And by hand, again, I hand cut each piece of stencil, removing each piece, ultimately creating the, the, the finished product of the stencil. The benefits of using the urban environment as a canvas compared to painting just on a flat canvas is you're, you're really limited to that flat space of a canvas. But when you're painting in the ur urban environment, you can use the wall, you can use the surrounding elements of the environment, uh, you can use cracks in the walls, holes. You're really, you're really pushed to your limit and you're kind of challenged to, to take your creativity to a new level. I think Carlsbad inspires me more than anything when it comes to my art and the content of my art, mainly because I've spent more time in Carlsbad than anywhere else. Out of my 34 years, I've lived in Carlsbad and specifically the village of Carlsbad for about 31 years. And it's a place that I, I really enjoy. Uh, growing up in the beaches, or on the beach, around the lagoons, and in the village as a, a kid skateboarding. So. I've really grown up with Carlsbad, and uh, it's, just, it's just a community in a village that I, I truly love. So as an artist, you kind of, you look inside to the things that inspire you, and you know, Carlsbad is, is one of my biggest inspirations. A piece that holds significance for me is the dandelion piece, because that represents a single idea. And it's a single idea with the potential to grow into multiple ideas. And culture can be defined as a network of minds. So when I developed the dandelion piece, I did it as if I was planting a seed of creativity with the desire of that to grow and develop into a, a healthy idea 
and then ultimately inspire other people to plant their own seeds with the end result being the creation of culture.